Welcome back to Wound Dressing Categories with Lizzie. Today we're going to talk about a method I'm sure you've probably heard of, <clears throat> but hopefully you're not using it anymore, and that is wet to dry dressing. So this dressing was once used for mechanical debridement. Why? Because you could pack a moist gauze into the wound, let it dry, and then pull it off, removing the dead tissue in the process. But here's the problem. It's non-selective. That means pulling off healthy tissue too, which is super painful for the patient, labor intensive for the staff, and it doesn't support a moist wound environment, which we know is essential for wound healing. Additionally, there's an increased risk of infection and delays in wound healing with wet to dry dressings. So why is it still around? Hmm, if I could answer that. Well, often it's habit, it's outdated protocols, or just limited resources or even knowledge deficits. By following evidence-based practice, we have better options like moisture retentive dressings, enzymatic agents, autolytic debridement that are much gentler and more targeted. So what's the bottom line? Wet to dry dressings are considered substandard standard of care in most modern wound protocols. Um, if you see them, you should say something. Move your practice forward. Don't keep it in the past. Be sure to subscribe to The Frank and Lizzie Show for more on wound dressing categories.